Hi and welcome to my channel Hisame Artwork. So after using the Geezer Cat keyboard for over five months, I think I can make a reliable review for it. And I must say for how expensive yet cheap looking it is, I didn't expect it to last five months, hence the long wait. It is a charmingly gimmick keyboard that is more expensive than it should be, but I enjoy it so much. It makes me smile every time I look at it. Ta-da! So far, I like the feel and sound of it, but I prefer the Lenovo Legion keyboard in this aspect, and you can watch my review for that if you are curious. Link in the description. Now, where this wins for me over the Lenovo Cooler Master and Logitech keyboards I've had in the past is that Geezer feels like it was made for my baby hands. I can reach everything more easily and I can live without a number pad plus more room for my cats to sleep on the desk while I'm working. As you can see, the keys aren't injected, let alone have any lighting. <laughs> As you can see, it has some pretty cheap looking stickers on it, uh, which I thought would fall off immediately, but five months in and they're still hanging. And here is how the keyboard sounds. They are quiet, I hate clicky keys, typewriter keyboards are too loud, and since they can wake or annoy my cats, uh, that's extra reason for me to avoid loud keyboards. Another win for me is the setup. It is wireless. It uses uh, two of these skinny uh, AAA batteries. And uh, my youngest, Chorizo, is a special potato and he likes to Ooh. chew cables uh, if you do not pet him whenever he demands attention. So if your pet is also on the donut spectrum, maybe going wireless is a good idea for you too. Ah, yuck. No! <gasps> no! Oh! Also, I no longer have any problems with any cables breaking like I had with my Cooler Master. Uh, the power cable kept breaking on that one for many uh, times. Uh, it's not the cat's fault, it's my fault. I don't know how I always manage to do that. My husband does not have this problem. Um, I'm just glad I don't have that problem anymore because now it's wireless. Also, I mean, it the keyboard shuts off uh, whenever you're not using it. It automatically goes into standby mode or shut off mode and uh, it barely consumes any batteries. So I like this a lot. It's very efficient. Like sometimes with some keyboards, you forget to turn it off at night and the battery gets depleted faster. That's not the case with the geezer. So I'm, I like that it's environmentally friendly that way yeah. that I'm wasting less batteries. Now another issue for me is uh, because I am an artist my hands are always dirty with paint and ink so I inevitably stain any surface I forgetfully touch and this light color setup is hard to keep clean especially since the plastic is so flimsy and porous. Now, I don't know how well you can see on the mouse, uh, I'd say it's the worst. The cream is turning gray and the tan has some lines where the fingers are constantly touching and the silvery paint just already fell off. The mouse wheel showing the black plastic underneath. Again, this has been in use for half a year. I've uh, never had this problem with any other mouses before. In fact, Mice? Mouses? <laughs> uh, in fact, this Logitech Fox mouse uh, is still white after 10 years. I only stopped using it because the keyboards that I used previously came with a mouse and the rubber on this one, on this Logitech uh, Fox mouse, has been completely worn out. Like you can see where my thumb goes, is just gone. <laughs> um, 
I really love this Logitech mouse. It's great. I'm annoyed. It is discontinued. I want another. <laughs> Now back to the keyboard, at least the light color helps me see Chorizo with my black keyboards. I sometimes put my elbow on his tail or grab his head when I was trying to grab my mouse. Um, especially when the room is poorly lit and everything is black, it's hard to see. So in conclusion, I'm very happy with this keyboard, how it looks, how it feels, the cute whiskers, the details. Um, I love that it's wireless because I needed that, but price could be better or quality higher, one of these two. <laughs> um, and so far I don't know how much longer it will work. Uh, I hope it continues to function properly. We'll just have to see if you guys are interested. Let me know in the comments below. I can do a follow-up uh, later on after some months. So far, I haven't had any issues with uh, keys going bad. I have, I've had this issue with other keyboards that are expensive that were maybe used in a shop or something like that and they were like display items so they were cheaper or simply the company that I got them from that was uh, selling these probably sold something that was broken as new um, because there is no reason for those expensive keyboards to have issues and other people that have used those brands have not had that issue and there were just like specific keys that had gone off like the R or um, the Y. So in conclusion, I do recommend this. I generally don't put anything on my website that I don't recommend. I just would say that uh, the price is for the gimmick, for the aesthetics. Quality-wise, is not the best thing. Like, if you're interested in quality, you would get another keyboard. Um, the Lenovo uh, that I recommended, the Legion uh, brand, subsection of Lenovo keyboards, is way better and was half price. Uh, so, yeah, that's kind of how it is. Um, I am eyeing some other pretty keyboards at the moment, but I don't have a budget for them now. Uh, if this video does well, then maybe I'll be more likely to try them, especially if this one goes kaput. Um, so if you'd like to see that, then give this video a like and a comment, even a sub, because that will, um, increase the viewership for the video, and like I said, if it does well, I'll try some other keyboards. Um, thank you, cheers, and see you in the next one. Bye-bye. No. No. No, ah! Chorizo.